How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video and today we have a brand new Apple product. We have the Apple Watch Solo Loop. This came out a couple weeks ago when Apple announced the new Apple Watch Series 6 and SE. We didn't get that this year mainly because there's not a lot of updates to it. But we have the new Solo Loop. I have to say this was probably one of my favorite announcements. It just looks really cool and it's going to be so much easier to take it on and off. Not that it was hard as it is but Apple is always trying to make cool things. So this is what we have right here. They have two different versions. They have the Solo Loop and then the Braided Solo Loop. The Solo Loop is pretty much just a sport band. And then the Braided Solo Loop is similar to what you see on like this band right here. This is the Sport Loop. Um, so it's gonna be a little bit similar to that. Not quite the same though. So because it is one solid piece, you have to know what size your wrist is. There's a couple of ways you can do that. You can print a tool on their website. You can measure yourself at home, or you can follow a pretty simple guide where you take a traditional sport band and you line that up to the numbers of sizes. So I'll put a graphic up. You can see um, where your band will line up so you can figure that out. Or you can print out this tool right here. Now, when I went to go pick up my band, this is something that Apple gave me to make sure that my numbers were right. And this is actually made by Apple, so it's gonna be pretty accurate. And of course, because it's made by Apple, it has this really cool little sticky here. It's like super sticky and it sticks to your skin. And the way this works is you stick it on the wrist right here where your watch will go. And then you wrap this around and then the arrows point to your number. So I am a seven. And that corresponds exactly to the graph I just showed you. I'll show it again right here. But I wear my band on the second hole from the top, which corresponds to seven. And that's exactly what this says. So you can print this at home or you can get it at the Apple store and you can see what size you are. But on the side right here, it says deep navy solo loop. On the other side, it is for the 44 millimeters and size seven. And you've probably seen an Apple Watch band before. So the boxing experience is probably gonna be pretty similar. But I wanna show you what the band looks like on. Inside we get some safety information and we got the band right here. Now inside it shows you how to remove and attach your band and then it shows you how to make a new watch face. And here it is. This is the band with a fancy pull tab and there it is. This is actually very stretchy and rubbery. This is quite different from a sport loop. The material is a little bit different. The sport loop actually has kind of metal in it, so it's a little bit more rigid, but this one's very, very rubbery and flimsy and twisty, and it's quite stretchy. And it is stretchy because of the fact that it has to be able to get on your wrist to make sure it is the right size. So let's go ahead and put this on. And there we go. Now it actually looks really tiny <laughs> because it's just because of the size, but let's go ahead and see how it goes and it fits on. Stretchy, and oh my goodness, that is awesome. <laughs> First impressions, I love this. It's very light. I haven't worn a sport band in a while, but because this does not have the metal and it's not as rigid as a traditional sport band, this solo loop is like very stretchy. It feels great. It's super easy to reposition and it wasn't hard to get on and it just goes off like that. It's not the most elegant way to get on and off, but it's not bad. I actually really like this. So yeah. I'm a huge fan of this. They don't have a ton of colors, but more will probably come. But for now, I think this is a really awesome band. It feels super comfortable. I think the size is pretty good. It might be a tad tight, but I think the sizing is very similar to what you would see on a normal sport band. So if you have one of those, you can tell what size you're going to need. But anyway, there you go. That is the Solo Band. It's very stretchy. It is very flimsy, but it's also super comfortable in the same way. So I'm a huge fan of this and I really like this a lot. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, leave it a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark and I'll see you in the next one.